Cronin Toyota and Cronin Nissan are honored to partner with Proudly We Served, as well as the continued support of our local active and retired military veterans across eastern Indiana. I'm Al Bledsoe, Veterans of Foreign War, Post 1108. Hey, I'm Ron Chappelle. I'm the chaplain for VBA 777 here in the city of Richmond and co-host with Al here on Proudly We Serve. Okay, it's, and it's today... It's joy, huh? Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah it's, it's good been, to see you up good. and around. Yeah, and, man, I'm glad yeah. <laughs> to be up and around. Yeah. <laughs> well, at least you're not falling over. That's not something. <laughs> so, uh, we have a great guest today, and I wonder if she would introduce oh. herself. Hi, I'm Jennifer, Jennifer. Crawford. Um, my husband and I own Halo Handmade in the Depot District. Yeah, yeah. I met Jennifer and them uh, actually through my wife. Uh, my wife subscribes to this uh, Wish uh, thing on on uh, internet, and Jennifer and them are uh, I don't know you call it distributors or conveyors for Wish, and my wife would send me down to pick stuff up. <laughs> okay. oh. so, <laughs> so tell tell me a little bit because I'm, I'm totally oblivious to this a little bit. Tell me what you do and, and yeah, the, what, the kind, what kind of business you yeah, got? Just did. tell us what kind um, of business you're doing. We feature uh, local artisans, um, uh, handmade goods by local artisans. They uh, rent booths or uh, kind of depending what it, on what it is. We do some things just uh, straight commission. Um, we knew so many people that were really good at making beautiful items, and uh, we wanted to give them an outlet when we were uh, looking at starting a business. And we wanted to be in the depot district because it's, you know, it's such a vibrant area, and the, the business owners just care so much about the area and the people of Richmond that we wanted to be part of it. Yeah. Where sure. exactly are you located at in Depot uh, in the Depot District, uh, 421 North 8th is the address. Um, it's kind of catty corner from the Richmond Furniture uh, Store. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, furniture Gallery. I mean. Yeah, I would know then that yeah. area. I yeah. probably went by it 100 yeah. times mm -hmm. and just didn't realize yeah. it. So, Yeah. Uh, so people can actually come and, and bring, I guess, a sample of what they do, and then you determine whether you want to do contract with them, or is that how it works? Or? Yes, most uh, rent a booth or a table for a monthly fee, and then there's a commission. Uh, right now, we're full, um, but I do have a waiting list. And, um, you know, we do, if, if uh, especially we have a couple of veterans that don't really have time to keep a, a full booth up. So if we like what they do and, um, you know, we, we want it in our store, then we will sometimes just buy it outright if they'll give us a, a good price, or we will just put it put it in the store just for straight commission. Um, it, it depends on the items and how much room we have. The last time I was down here, we had talked about, this is a challenge now. Are you able to kind of show us a little bit of this stuff? Can you move? Well, the... I'm on my laptop, yeah. so <laughs> <Well>. I'm not... <laughs> Let me see what well, I can do. There, is your husband there to help you? If not, don't worry about it. Oh, he's here, but I'm not sure how much help he'll be. <laughs> <laughs> just, I'll just do a... It's, it's, me. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice place. It's a nice little shop. It is. Yeah. Yeah. We have a, a lot of nice, nice pottery and... Um, I don't know if you can see straight back on the wall. That's one of our local veterans makes those um, American flags. Oh, okay, okay. And um, yeah, he's going to bring me. That's all I have left. His, his. He does such beautiful work. Um, we like to to feature local veterans. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Does that help? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You get a good <laughs> idea of kind of what it looks like. Yeah. That's coming in the front door off of Ace, coming back to his, towards the back. And Jennifer has this, a uh, desk right there where you, where you come right. in. <laughs> well, I'll try to yeah. make it my way yeah. to get yeah. down it's there and nice kind of walk through that because I don't a nice place. normally go yeah. to places yeah. like that. My wife would, but I would Yeah. But, but then, uh, I have to do that. 
this program is, is about and for veterans. And the mm -hmm. reason I thought it would be a good connection here is that we had talked about you guys providing incentives for veterans. And man, when I know we need to know uh, any uh, services or opportunities that are available for us. Um, you know, right. We're, right. Besides I, um, featuring, you know, any anything that they do, you know, we were we would obviously if we have a little room, if a veteran brings something in, that's that's what's going to go in that place. Um, but we also offer ten percent off um, for veterans or current uh, service members or law enforcement officers. Um, well, I feel we owe a debt of gratitude to our veterans that what well, we can't repay. So that's just our way of thanking them and. Uh, hoping to bring them in our store. I just love it when you guys come in and, and we talk to you and so much fun to chat with, with you. And, and uh, we just, we just want more to come in, to come in and I would love to feature their artwork, you know, so anybody that has anything they want to show us, uh, we'd love to see it. Okay. So now uh, the veteran, what about the veteran's wife who may be the, the main I mean, if I yeah, tell, she's well, included. Yeah. Well, like in my case, my wife, she she retired with me from the mm -hmm. service. She's not retired from service, but she was with me the whole time I retired. But some folks only serve a couple of years. You know, I shouldn't say only. That's still time of their life. But some agencies don't give the wife credit for that. You know, so. Oh, they're definitely included. Definitely. Yeah. Good. Um, we would we. That's just our way of saying thank you. It's a, I don't know how else to do it, but to me, that's a that's a good way, especially for the wives. This is a little, I guess, a little bit more of a chick store, but <laughs> we do have men come in too that that shop for the for like wall decorations and things like that and gifts. Uh, this is a good, great place to find yeah, a gift for your wife. I didn't think about that. It is a great gift shop. So you have a flag disp display. Who's making your flag for you? What His name is Andrew Campbell. Okay, so um, I know that name. He's, a, he's here in town, um, and he that's the one thing that we just do on straight commission because he doesn't really have time to keep a whole booth up. So um, sure. whatever he brings us in, uh, we're willing to display and sell. What other types of things do you carry besides like things like that, but what else do you sell then? Uh, well, we have paint, uh, paintings, a lot of wall decorations, um, candles, a lot of jewelry. And uh, we have some seamstresses that just make the most beautiful afghans and placemats and aprons and things like that. And we have a gentleman that does copper, uh, copper um, sculptures, I guess you would call them, um, mm -hmm. copper and brass uh, welded together. We have a, uh, some really nice pottery, um, baby items, a lot of wood items, just a, you know, a, we have a great variety. To do, we have a lady that refurbishes uh, furniture. She will find things at oh, yard wow. sales and estate, estate sales, take them home, fix them, paint them, and uh, bring them in. They're just beautiful. Now, that just rang a bell with me. Now, people like that to provide services, and you might want to discuss with them, or would they be willing to provide 10% off for veterans for the services? For service, I'm not sure what I, I like understand. Like the lady you said that does the uh, refurbishing or whatever? Uh, oh, would she be willing um, to provide? You know, that's something you could. Just an idea. You you, you can pass that <laughs> pass that I by have to her. Talk to her about. I'm not sure. <laughs> we absorb the 10 percent off though. That doesn't come out of the artisan's pocket. Okay. You know, when when we say 10 percent off, that's that's on Mark and I. You know, we don't take anything away from the artisans. Okay, okay, okay. That'll work. It'd okay. be an interesting shop to go through. I'll have to do that. I tell you, it's got all kind of little yeah. things in there. And it's always changing. When whenever they sell one thing, they will they will find something else to bring, and it's it's something completely different. So it's it's a different store every time you come in. There's always something new, which which I like. I like it for it to be different. Sure. When did you start? Um, we opened uh, in May of two thousand eighteen. So getting close to three years now. Yeah. Wow. It took a while to get our uh, get our name out there and. And that's why we started doing the wish deliveries, which, by the way, we don't do anymore because we we needed the space that that was taking up. But um, we did we started doing that to get people through the door, to, you know, tell mm -hmm. them, show them our place, and let them know we were here. Because most of them came in and said we didn't know you were here. But it just it just really takes a long time to get get your yeah, name well, out there and let people know sure. you were you're in the area. Well, when I was down there last time, I told Mark what I thought would be a good 
a promotional tune for you guys uh, to kind of get out there in the air, you know, and kind of with folks, you know. We, sure. You know, you know how you get a tune in your head and you, you sing that tune, <laughs> you know. But, but it comes from an old advertisement, Halo. Halo, everybody, halo. Oh, my gosh. Halo. <laughs> Hey, he Lois. Said the same I didn't know hey, he Lois is the crazy. shop. <laughs> He's now, doing some hey, stuff Lowe today I've never seen before. So. <laughs> well, he I mean, honestly it's wanted that be... tune to play every time somebody opened the door. That's a great idea. That'd be a great <laughs> idea. It would, you know, make it, you know, kind of print it in the brain. There. Well, see, like I never knew it was there because with the pandemic thing, when all that started, everything kind of shut oh. down a little yes. bit and then it tried to open back up. Uh, we just had a discussion with Eric of when are they going to really yeah. open up a little bit. And, uh, you know, we're still in the Zoom business and uh, doing yeah. business that way. But it's very difficult uh, for people, you know, if they're going to have to wear a mask, if they got to do all that stuff in, in a shop like that. If you got people roaming around uh, to social distance and all that stuff, that's, that's hard to do sometimes. Yeah, it was hard on heart on small business. We were closed uh, March and April um, due to that. You know, we, they kind of basically shut everything down. So, we, I mean, that's hard. That's hard to. I didn't feel right charging our artisans their booth rent during that time when I couldn't be open and sell their stuff. So we didn't charge them. Um, you know, so that, you know, we have to absorb all that expense. So, but you know, it was positive in in that we did a really deep clean of the store. So, which we wouldn't have had time to do otherwise. So, you just have to adapt and and do what you have to do to survive. Sure, and that's what you do. Well, that's excellent. I mean, that's that's good because yeah. sooner, I mean. I feel like the pandemic, this stuff has got to be released just a little bit. Yeah. Uh, the right. mask mandate, uh, I'm not so sure that won't hang around for a while. But uh, if people are vaccinated, I just don't foresee any more problems coming down the road unless something else happens. But mm -hmm. I'm, I'm of the opinion that we create okay. crisis sometimes that we really yeah. don't need yeah. to create. Uh, anyway, so we just have, have to. Mm -hmm. But all we have to do is get back. Yeah. Well, Jen, is there anything uh, uh, that you'd want to promote right now, like a special or something that's going on at the store? No, we um, actually our artisans um, they set their prices, and the only the only way I can come down is if they give me permission. You know, it's it's their their merchandise and their you know they know what they need to make. Mm -hmm. So if if one of them wants to put a sign out and, and you know put things on sale, but most of them, if you notice, our prices are very reasonable. Mm -hmm. They don't really make a huge profit. So um, as far as specials and sales, we don't really do much of that, other than like offering ten percent off to veterans and law enforcement officers, um, things like that, or you know specials if we're doing a special event, you know things like that. But otherwise, um, as far as sale days, we really don't do much of that. Okay, all right. Well, we're getting down to the closeout time, and I want to thank you so much for uh, coming on and being a part of our show. But let's tell the folks one more time about where, where you are and your contact information. Okay. Halo Handmade. We're in the Depot District. Our address is 421 North 8th. Um, we have a Facebook page. Um, my daughter named it a little differently, Halo Specialty Gifts, but uh, all of our contact information is there, anything, um, and you're welcome to call my cell phone. It's on there, too. Okay, all right. Well, thank you. It was nice uh, talking to you this morning, and I'll be sure and visit your store. Yeah. You, too. Thank yeah. you very much for having me. Sure. Tell Mark, say hi. Thank you. <laughs> I will. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Today, uh, we're doing something a little bit different this year. We're trying to find merchants and that that are uh, favorable towards veterans. And, uh, one of them today, Taylor Morrison. And uh, Taylor, what's, I, can, I never get the name of that shop right. What's the name of the shop again? <laughs> Innovative Electronics and Sound. Innovative Electronics and Sound. We, okay. uh, uh, I think uh, we did some business. I'm from Cronin. And I think you did some work for us because I had to drop a guy. We had to drop a vehicle off there, if I remember right. So what type of work do you do with that? Uh, so we do any electrical on vehicles or motorcycles or RVs, uh, remote starters, um, stereo equipment, uh, lighting, um, 
again, boats, motorcycles, RVs, cars, um, pretty much anything 12 volts, sometimes security systems as well. Yeah. I, uh, that's how I met them. Um, I had purchased a car from uh, a local mm -hmm. merchant here, and they told me about them. And I called and made an appointment, went down, uh, dropped the car off, and I don't think it was, I don't think he had it, but a couple, two, three hours, and it was done. They put in a uh, remote starter. Oh, yeah. In my wife's car. Yeah. You know, so made her very, very happy. You saved my marriage. I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Glad to hear it. I appreciate it. Are that. those hard to do? Do you do, um, like, are you doing, like, a generic, or do you do the manufacturer's? Are you certified by a manufacturer on these remote starts and things like that? Yeah, so I have MECP certification, which essentially allows me to install cars with a factory warranty and uh, retain that warranty. It's recognized by all the auto manufacturers. We use uh, Excalibur remote starts, um, iDataLink products, and they... Um, they're usually, you know, uh, kind of like a universal fit, and you mm -hmm. build a wiring harness per vehicle. So, mm. how long yeah. have you been there? I've been at uh, Innovative. I opened it um, October 2019, so wow. not quite okay. two years. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So, um, so you kind of come through the pandemic right at the start of it, kind of. <clears throat> so it was it was kind of kind of rough timing, you know, just mm -hmm. a few months after we opened uh the pandemic hit and uh people were a little bit lenient i think on buying the electronics at first but we're, you know we're we're doing fine yeah i think people were just afraid to get out there for you know yeah for a while people yeah. just didn't want to get out doing yeah. yeah so yeah. hopefully now that uh spring is here and it's warm people will get out more yeah. get more things done yeah and Taylor, now when I met you and, and we went, transacted our business and that, and I told you I was a veteran, and I asked you if you provided any incentives for veterans, and you said that you did. So I want to kind of talk about that today because that's the folks that we're really, uh, you know, sure. providing service to. So what kind of things can we look at? Uh, so um, we do on any sales or any installation 10% off, um, you know, even if a sale item or something. If you mention you're a veteran to us, you know, during your transaction, um, just, just 10% off the top of anything, whether it be labor or parts, or, you know, maybe if you're just picking up a radio for yourself. So 10% um, off labor and parts. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> that's, that's good. Yeah. So do you have items on display at your place? I'll have to stop by and again. I've been there. I've dropped a car off there, but I have never been inside. inside so yeah, he's got you actually have an active <laughs> showroom and all that stuff. Yeah. Um, it, you know, we're in a, uh, um, a garage, so we have a walk-in. It's a smaller showroom with a small waiting area. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, we um, especially – Especially this year, as we as we're been established a little longer, trying to um, build up our showroom. Um, there, I think there's some pictures online on our Facebook website. You can see of you know what you'd walk into. Um, but um, you know most most everything um, is on display in our shop. Not all of our products are online. So you know if there's something that you don't see. Um, on our pictures, give us a call. We we might have it, or um, um, you know, we have a few suppliers for just about any any brand. A lot of people are looking for something very specific mm -hmm. when it comes to car audio. You know, certain brands and stuff. And um, um, we have a few exclusive brands, but you know, we um, we have suppliers for just about just about anything you'd want. That's great. That's great. It's another interesting shop. You know, I have. To make it a point to get by there and mm -hmm. see what they got because automotive i mean that's uh, that's kind of a to me that's kind of a specialty thing what you do with making the uh, self-start and all that stuff yeah that's pretty complicated it looks like i mean it I've, works huh it works oh yeah i've watched people do it <laughs> and it's amazing to me that it does work but yeah. um, that's amazing to be able to do something like that yeah yeah so. well what's really good is if you get a car that doesn't have it you, you know, you buy it used or something that doesn't have it, 
Mm -hmm. and you can take it to these guys and they can hook, hook you up and get it running for you. you know? Is it easier to do a new one? Not all new ones have that self-start feature to it. You know, actually, um, some newer cars are, are easier to do um, um, because cars, older cars were what I would consider more like analog uh, to, you know, high current, high current wires and stuff. And some of the new digital ignition vehicles yeah. are, are, are pretty, you know, just several less wires than older vehicles. So a less invasive install. Mm -hmm. Do you do the work yourself? Yeah. Yeah, I I do have uh one guy working with me, Matt. Uh, he's he's he does great and uh but um yeah, I I started innovative uh the first year I ran it by myself and um I we you know, we've been fortunate enough that I needed some help, so we got we got another guy in there and um both we both stay pretty busy, so um, so, so you both do the wiring and all that stuff. That's kind of a real specialty thing that kind of self-start business that's that interests me yeah i i come from an automotive background um i actually did paint and body work um for a long time and kind of kind of just grew up doing electronics you know you got a passion for something yeah no. <laughs> i know yeah, grew up doing it I'm and just kind of never grew out of it yeah that's my thing as a little kid I, I electronics was my thing i had a little electrical shop in my basement you know, uh, wow. <laughs> uh, I wired up the refrigerator, so you open the refrigerator, and the, the phonograph well, was a phonographed antiller back in the day. <laughs> the phonograph would come on. You know. uh, uh, that's good. Well, man, I, uh, so we got a few minutes. If you want to talk a little bit more in detail about the store, and uh, can you show any of the product directly there? Or you, well, you did show the pictures, but. I'm actually at my house right now. Oh, okay. Um, you work. It's a home. little. It's a little quieter here. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I don't have any products with me. Okay. Okay. Um, I just have to say, get on, get on our website, innovativeeas.com, mm -hmm. or um, um, Innovative Electronics and Sound on Facebook. Um, you know, there's a it, there's like a price breakdown on remote starters, and then um, there's always a, some special going on, whether it be for like subwoofers or um, CarPlay radios, uh, that's pretty popular right now. Um, you know, some, a lot of, you know, a lot of people, vehicles last longer than they used to, yeah. you know, your vehicle lasts you much longer. So, yeah. uh, you can always add a CarPlay touchscreen or something to an older vehicle because it probably still runs, runs a lot longer than, uh, you know, 10 years ago, what a car would last you. Yeah. 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 All right. What is the CarPlay? Tell me what that is. Um, so essentially, uh, you know, you plug your phone in to the, uh, the radio and you can view your, uh, your navigation, your Contact. text messages, your phone calls, just essentially what you can see on your phone, on your, on your radio, in your car. Yeah. It's really great, you know, for the navigation. Yeah, I think or, my wife was talking about that. I think she that. was going to get that. Yeah, because it's got the whole package. You don't, to, with what he does. Uh, there's really no need of, I don't think, buying a car with navigation on it because he can do that. Or you can well, do it with your cell with your phone. your cell phone, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Mine's is like that. I'll plug it in. It gives a, uh, a charge and you can use the navigation. It uh, downloads the contacts from right. the phone and uh, phone calls come yeah, in. Yeah, I think my wife's screen. getting ready to do all that. Yeah, that's, that's pretty yeah, that's neat. Yeah, interesting. That's pretty neat, yeah. But navigation <laughs> is... An expensive product if you buy it on a car, but nowadays with cell phones and the way they hook them up or he hooks stuff up, yeah. you don't have to really do anything like yeah. that. You don't need it really. Yeah. So, man, if I could, I'd spend a couple of days down there just helping to work with some of that stuff, you know. But come on, come on down. Man, I could you. handle it now. I could. Yeah. You got to do a little crawling, and you know. I, <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> I ain't there no more. No, so. it's, I get that. <laughs> Stuff on top I can take care of. But. Uh, <laughs> uh, so so yeah. what's, your, what's your days? What the days are you open, man? What's your uh, operating hours? Uh, we're Monday through Friday, 10 to 5, and Saturdays, 10 to, 10 to 1, sometimes 2 on Saturdays. Um, we, at first, avoided set hours. 
Um, but now we're pretty much, it's yeah. 10 to 5. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you kind of do that because people do the scheduling, you know. For, yeah, well, yeah, it, yeah because um, I actually, I run a few businesses. And when I was uh, uh, on my own, it was it was hard to, ba to balance at first. But mm -hmm. now that we have Matt, mm -hmm. fortunately, mm -hmm. uh, 10 to 5, you can catch us there during weekdays every day. Yeah. So now where exactly are you located for our viewers? Um, 101 Southwest 2nd. It's right behind Hawkins Speed Shop, yeah. if you're familiar with Richmond, uh, across from the old Tim Hortons building. Yes. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people struggle to find us. There's an alleyway across from uh, what used to be Family Video, and that's how you actually get into our our location. Yeah, yeah until you know where it's at, it's a little awkward to find it. I know. Yeah, there. when I went there. They gave me that, mm -hmm. told me that was the address, and I thought that'd be easy to find, but it wasn't quite that. But once you see it and think, well, I don't know how in the world I just didn't go there, you know. <laughs> yeah, you've got a good location there, okay. especially behind Hawkins if you kind of advertise a little bit because he's always been out front there, I think. Well, we got yeah, less good. than a minute. Go, oh, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, uh, I was just saying Hawkins, good friends of ours. Yeah, yeah, good. We got less than a minute. Anything you want to emphasize about the business before we cut out of here? Uh, you know, just uh, I really appreciate you guys uh, giving me the opportunity to be on here sure. with you today. Well, I appreciate you all nice veterans to cut, uh, you know, uh, incentives, to, uh, you know, because uh, we're kind of limited on funds. Yeah. So, 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 so <laughs> he's trying to know, tell you he's tight, but he don't <laughs> want to do that. <laughs> okay, tell me. <laughs> limited funds. Okay, that's a new one. Well, okay, fifteen seconds. We gotta go. Hey, right. hey, man, thanks yeah. a lot for, for coming thanks, on. Thanks, man. All right, and uh, I. Hope that folks will, you know, patronize your business and this gets into the veteran community and they know some place they can go to get sure. it done. Just mention you're a vet when you come in. All right, buddy. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. Cronin Toyota and Cronin Nissan are honored to partner with Proudly We Served, as well as the continued support of our local active and retired military veterans across eastern Indiana.